Hey, welcome to Israel. Just got off the flight. It's about a 10 hour flight from New York to Tel Aviv in Ben Gurion Airport here. And that was a night flight. I slept about five hours, watched two movies X Men Dark Phoenix, which sucked, and uh, Baby Driver, which had an awesome soundtrack. Anyway, just got here. Passport process was easy. Uh, about to go through customs. Gonna time them, see how long it takes. All right, catch you later. This is like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Remember the end? And there's Josh, our fearless leader. You know what? There are two kinds of people in this world those with loaded guns and those who dig. You dig! <laughs> All right, I went to the money changers here at the airport. I gave them $200 cash, and this is what they gave me back. Keep in mind, money changers are okay at airports, not at the temple. There was no customs. All they did was look at my passport in there. But other than that, walked right out. Pretty cool. You. One thing about flying this direction is that even though we had an overnight flight, we still arrived here in the evening. So, not a whole lot of sights to see today. We stopped in Caesarea to catch dinner, and this is how you get into Caesarea. This is called the Crusader Gate. So, Caesarea, like many places in Israel, changed hands many times over the centuries. Jews, Romans, Christians, Muslims, and this is the Crusader Gate. Caesarea was built in the first century BC by Herod the Great. He named it Caesarea after Caesar, specifically Augustus Caesar, to show his support for Augustus over his rivals. Most of Caesarea has not been excavated yet, so it's going to be pretty cool seeing what, uh, what comes out in the future. This is one of the recent excavations. This is the Nymphaeum, which is a sort of little water monument here. Don't know if you can see that, but don't drink that. Well, even at night, you can see a lot of cool excavations going on here. Again, we got here in the evening. I'm hoping we come back here during the day so we can see a bit more of what's going on. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, this is your uh, first time, right? Yeah. 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 Here's two yep. 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 So, here's the first meal in Israel. That's right. I don't get some good filter fish. Fish and chips. You know, the, um, got some uh, <laughs> pasta here. Uh, I don't know what kind of fish that is. Some fish skin. On. There, you go, there you go. Bobby Conway does not like fish skin. No, I, I, I really try to avoid the fish skin action. You know, this is for David. I peeled this just for you, bro. All right. <laughs> How long? Uh, some sort of meat and rice and. What is that? Is that mayonnaise? Pretty dope wall. All right, well, we just got to our hotel in Tiberias alongside the Sea of Galilee. So we arrived in Tel Aviv in the evening, stopped at Caesarea on the way for dinner. Caesarea, uh, you'll remember, is, uh, was the town where Cornelius lived. Remember Cornelius, um, Gentile convert, Roman centurion. Um, considered to be the first Gentile convert to Christianity, but he would have lived somewhere right around there where we were eating. So, cool places out here. Um, right now we are in Tiberias and looking forward to wake up tomorrow where I can see everything. <laughs>